Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do some examples of how to solve inequalities with two variables. Now notice here that we're going to stay consistent with the single inequality and the multiple inequality problems where we're simply going to shade out the regions that do not satisfy the inequality so just so that it's easier to do the multiple inequality problems and we'll make it clear which side satisfies and which side doesn't satisfy the inequality. Now notice, check with your teacher because they may want to do it the other way around. I simply don't agree with that method, so let, I'm, we're going to stay consistent with the method that I prefer. All right, following the steps, we're given an inequality. The first thing to do is to put into the form y equal to mx plus b with the inequality symbol. So here we have 2y less than or equal to minus x plus 8, and then divide both sides by 2, we get y less than or equal to minus 1 half x plus 4. So this is the proper form of the inequality because that makes it easy to change it to an equation. So now we're going to change it to the equation y equals minus 1 half x plus 4. And we do that to find the boundary line. Okay, let's now graph the boundary. And uh, we have the intercept at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's the intercept, and the slope is minus 1 half. So by the time we get to 4, we drop down 2, so the line looks like this, and it is indeed a solid line. Why is it a solid line? Because it includes the equal symbol. Alright, so now we have two regions. We have region number 1, and we have region number 2, so now we're going to test the regions. And let's pick the easy point, 0, 0. We're going to plug that into our inequality to see if it satisfies or not satisfy the inequality. So here we have y is less than or equal to minus 1 half x plus 4. And we're going to plug in the point 0, 0 out of region number 2. So 0 less than or equal to 0, uh, well, minus 1 half. Let me go ahead and put that in. Minus 1 half times 0 plus 4 question mark because we're checking it to see if that's correct. Simplifying that, we get 0 less than or equal to 4 question mark and the answer is yes. So we pick the point in the region that satisfies inequality, which means the other region does not. So we get rid of the other region. And so this region, yes, this is the region that satisfies inequality. And we also include the points on the line. So everything in this region plus the line satisfies the inequality. And this one is no, it does not satisfy the inequality. So I like the fact that we can say yes, yes here, no there, to make it clear which, which side satisfies and which side doesn't satisfy the inequality. And that is how it's done. See, that makes it clear. <laughs> All right.